Hello everyone. So in this video we are going to discuss the Sandmeyer reaction. Okay. So the most use of this Sandmeyer reaction is the formation of aryl halides. That means when you are going to form the aryl halides, you can use this Sandmeyer reaction process. Okay. So now it is a actually S rn1 type reaction okay this reaction is actually s rn1 type reaction s rn1 what is the full form it is substitution radical nucleophilic unimolecular reaction okay that means in this reaction process radical will also substitute and the nucleophile will also substitute okay radical part will be uh, as an intermediate part now in this reaction actually the aryl halides okay aryl halide is formed from where aryl diazonium salt okay so the aryl halide will form from aryl diazonium salt using copper salt as a catalyst okay catalyst or reagent copper salt is used as a catalyst or reagent okay so aryl halide is forming from aryl diazonium salt so now just let's see okay this is a benzene ring and diazonium salt means n2cl n2 plus and cl minus so whenever this type of group is present that means this is diazonium salt this is benzene so aryl diazonium salt okay now if you use what it is said copper salt right so suppose cux okay then you will get aryl halide here x means it can be chlorine it can be bromine or it can be cyanide so you can also say uh, the copper x okay the cux portion it can be copper halide or it can be copper cyanide okay now so when it is copper halide it will be aryl halide When it is copper cyanide, then it will be aryl cyanide. Okay. Now, if it is, if the X is chlorine, that means if you use CuCl and HCl, then the product will be. chlorobenzene if it is x equal to br and if you use here cubr and hbr then the product will be bromobenzene and if you use cyanide cucn and KCN then you will get cyanobenzene okay so here is a diagrammatic chart you can see now let's move to the mechanism okay how this diazonium salt actually reacts with this copper salt 
okay now if you want to know how to form this diazonium salt the link is given below in the description box you can also check it out how to form this diazonium salt because without this salt you can't perform this Sandmeyer reaction okay so now let's move to the reaction mechanism of Sandmeyer reaction the first reactant is diazonium salt so let me draw the structure of diazonium salt and to Cl right N2 plus and Cl minus now we can also write this structure like this way and triple bond and here is the plus sign and this is Cl minus part okay now why this N is plus because the valency of nitrogen is 3 but here it already made 4 bonds so here is the plus sign on this nitrogen lone pair is present okay now we have used copper salt right cux okay now see this copper is copper one halide okay this is copper one halide why it is copper one because halide is minus one so copper is plus one this is copper one halide one electron is present in the copper now this one electron will act as a radical and this radical will go to nitrogen plus okay you can see half arrow okay one electron transfer the radical goes there then the product will be okay and the cl minus is still there right so and if this copper gives this radical then here it will be plus okay so in the solution you will also get Cu there is a positive sign and X now again here is the positive sign here is the negative sign so this negative will attract this positive so here it will go like this so what will be the products Here is one and here you will get one side X and other side chlorine. Okay. Now you can see this copper is in plus two state. In the first we have used copper one halide as a catalyst and it converts into copper two halide. Okay. Now say this sigma bond between the benzene ring and nitrogen this sigma bond will now break. Okay. And you can see the half arrow that means again one electron transfer to nitrogen and another electron transfer to the benzene ring carbon atom. So from here you will get there is a dot dot means radical plus here one electron and then another electron okay so now you can see this is actually n2 gas which is a best living group best living group okay now from this portion again this bond will break and here it will form like this okay again you are getting copper one chloride copper one halide okay and this X will join here and the compound will be Okay, that is aryl halide or aryl cyanide. Okay, now this X can be chlorine, bromine or cyanide. So in this way you can prepare aryl halide or aryl cyanide through Sandmeyer reaction.